Hi, welcome to ERP Next tutorial. From your ERP Next account, you can send and receive emails. In this tutorial, we will learn about various configuration to make most from your email service. Firstly, let's check how to send a simple transaction from ERP Next. Let's email this quotation to the client. In this window, you can write your message and send email from your ERP Next account. Now, let's check how to configure an email account in the ERP Next, so that you can use your preferred email service for sending and receiving emails in your ERP Next account. The very first step is to set up an email domain. This is a master in which credentials related to incoming and outgoing email gateway can be tracked for the email service you have subscribed for. This is an example of how values are entered in the email domain. You can consult your email service provider for the credentials to be entered in the email domain. If you are using email service like Gmail, Yahoo, Spark post, then you can skip email domain and directly create an email account. You can also add new domains as per your need. Now, let's check to set up an email account in ERP next. Enter email ID. On adding email ID, based on the email domain, value is updated in the email domain. If you want to pull emails received on this ID into specific document type of ERP next, enable incoming for this email account. In this field, select a document type in which email received from this ID will be captured. Let's save this email account for now. As per this configuration, new opportunity will be auto-created for each email received on email for which email account is configured. You can use this feature to centralize your queries related to sales and support. For example, if you email us on support at erpnext.com, then new issue is created in our ERP Next account. We open the issues and respond to the same from our ERP Next account itself. If an email account is saved successfully, it indicates that your ERP Next account is able to establish connection with your email service. Now, let's check how to enable outgoing emails for this ID. If you also want to set this email as a default outgoing email account, check default outgoing field for it. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.